when I woke up in the hospital bed after my motorcycle accident with my girlfriend Josie, now wife, my mom and my sister were there. I don't remember this, but apparently one of the first things I said when I came to consciousness was, this is a big setback. I've, over, over, I've overcome physical setbacks before. I'm gonna, I still wanna make Korea. I'm gonna skate in 2018. When I was with him after his motorcycle accident, he was telling the nurses and the physios that I was his fiance. We weren't even dating yet. And I think that was kind of a mentality that he had at the beginning of our relationship was, this is gonna be my wife. I'm gonna treat her like a princess. I'm gonna treat her like gold. <laughs> Smooch. <laughs> We're Olympians. Both of us. Like I didn't really have the support, or no one believed that her and I were gonna work out in the long run. Um, and it was like became the challenge that I was like, no, I want you to see how serious I am and how much I love and appreciate this girl and this person. That's maybe one aspect of just my personality. That's I think it's from a lifetime of speed skating and and, and sport in general and overcoming the challenges, the adversities on the way. That was one of my vows to Josie in our wedding was, I vow, it was a long series of things, but one of them was, I will never give up. And so uh, I think that was, that's meaningful both in my relationship, but also in my speed skating career and in the rest of my life moving forward beyond sport as well.